Hey guys, it's Seth from Screechas here. And in this video, you will find out how to reverse a sound or a sample in Apple Studio. Now, this is especially useful when you're just starting out because if you're already producing for a while, you probably already know how to do that. But if you're just starting out and you want to reverse a sample or a sound, let me quickly show you how to do that. Now, I have an empty project over here, so I first need to have a sound in order to reverse it. So for convenience sake, let's just go to my browser over here, in which I have installed my free hard cell sample pack that contains a lot of pre-made samples already. If you're interested in getting this pack, just use the link in the description down below. But do that after this video so you don't miss the lesson I'm going to share with you. Now, let's just pick Screech number 18 over here, and it currently sounds like this. And I'm gonna right click on it and sending it to a new channel. There you have it, that's the screech. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. It sounds like this right now. And the, the most easy way to reverse it is simply go to the pre computed effects and select reverse. Bam, there you have it, let's listen now. There we have it, it's immediately reversed and that's how easy it is to reverse a sample. But let's say you don't have a sample, let's say, let's say you've made a sound like in a synthesizer or whatever and you want to reverse that one, how do you do that? So let me share a different approach that you can also reverse a sample without having to use the pre-computed effects over here. Now what you want to do is imagine this is your sound, your synthesizer. And you can always use this over here to send it to the mixer. So let's do that. Let's say send it to mixer track one. Then we have to open the mixer. Click view and then mixer. There we have it. And when we select insert track one, that's just the track we use for this sound. And what we don't want to do is click on an empty slot over here. And then find the Addison plugin. That's this one, Addison. And what we want to do is we want to record the sound we just made. So we want to play the sound, but first we have to press the record button. So we press the record button in Addison, and then we just play the sound. So once you have that, you press the stop button. In Addison, you press the stop button. And you typically want to clean up your sample first a little bit. So I'm just doing that quickly. So I'm just selecting the parts I don't want. Just click and drag, making it red. And then I press the delete button just to clean up the sample a little bit. I'm just doing it quickly. You can be a little bit more perfectionistic about it. Now, another thing I want to do is I select everything with Ctrl A, right click on it. Then I go to tools and I hit normalize. Then the sample is as loud as possible. But these are just steps in between. What I really want to do is simply Select the sample like this and right click on it, click tools, and then reverse. There we have it, reverse. So I mean, when we play it now, it sounds like this. Again, your sample is reversed now. And this is how easy it is to reverse a sample. And you can now use it, let's say in your track, you can easily send it to the playlist over here with this button when you click it, click. and it sent this sound to the playlist as an audio clip. So when we go to the playlist, this is the playlist. There we have it. There we have our reversed sample ready for our tracks. It already shows the date over here, so you can exactly see at which day I made the video. But that's it. That's how you easily reverse the sound. If you didn't know that, now you know. It's really easy, really simple, really straightforward. Now, if you're new to Apple Studio, I highly recommend getting a copy of the Apple Studio Beginner's Guide. You can find it via the link in the description down below. And it will take you to Amazon to a book I've written that provides an ultimate shortcut in making songs as quickly as possible. So it only focuses on the essential settings you need to quickly make your own music. If that's what you want, go ahead, click the link in the description down below and I'll see you over there. If you want more of me, more of my content, make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell also, so YouTube always sends you a message when I upload a new video. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to hit it, and I'll see you in the next video.